Hello, how are you guys doing? I'm glad to see you here. Let's read for Taurus. Come on, get this energy back up. Taurus. How are you doing, Taurus? Here we go. Taurus, come on through. We have meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. What is going on? Meditate and contemplate. Tell me some more. Hmm. You're very close to achieving your goal. Give us moon. Meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces and give us moon. So that has to do with manifestation. Meditate, contemplate, and achieve those goals. Let's get some energy cards for you. What's going on? Taurus. Okay, I'm feeling some kind of a romance connection here. Romance connection. Taurus, what's going on? Depth, holding back. They see your beauty. They are prideful memories of you, thinking of possibilities and new beginnings. Okay. So this is anything but easy. There's a depth to this passion that is consequential. Someone is feeling a little bit shy, so they're not giving you all of the information. Depth and holding back. This is a very consequential type of a connection, meaning it's not it's not topical. It's there's a depth to it. There's, it's deep beauty. They see you as so kind-hearted, charming. We are getting memories. So six of cups, six of cups, reminiscing. Um, there's a little bittersweet. Emotion here, too. Pride. Yeah. They don't want to make a mistake. They, You are formidable to them. So they are very, I want to say shy, but they're thinking of possibilities. They're thinking of what life would be like with you, and they're hoping for a new beginning, a start over, a do over. Remember what I was talking about here, though? There's a lot to this. There's a lot to this connection. Anything but easy. Where are we going to go? Let's use this. This is not um, exactly right or wait. This is um, a different illustrator. Close, but there's a little. I'll show you. A little bit of differences once in a while. For Taurus. Now in the pre-shuffle, I definitely have strength. Pride and strength. Jumping out. Put that back in. Taurus, what is going on here? more Taurus okay come on through oh lively okay beginning with strength again so it can't be denied strength is coming out there's a lot of pride here they're proud of you we're going to clarify of course next we have knight of wands so there's a lot of passion. Um, this person might feel a little clumsy. There's, okay, look at two of swords. See, that's a little bit different. We're thinking of options. We're gonna clarify, don't worry. Then we have six of swords, air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Taking all of those experiences with you in the middle of your reading we have two no five of swords five of swords more air energy interesting in the middle of your reading someone 
You feel like someone's playing games, but we're going to clarify. Hi, Priestess. There you are. To the Ten of Wands. Look at this. Feeling almost defeated. To the Ten of Pentacles. Ten, ten. Luxury. Financial success, but also a level of stability. Then we have Page of Swords. A new type of... A new thought coming through. Now at the bottom of the deck, we have four of cups and you see dumping out the fourth cup <sighs> considering new beginnings all right um, looking at what they have now feeling like they want more Taurus clarification please beginning with strength tell me more about this Strength and clarified by the world. Stepping through a new world. I know exactly where this is going. So there's two cards that came out. Ten of Cups and the Emperor. Beautiful. Aries energy. Ten of Cups. Three. Happy family. Someone's claiming their strength. Claiming their, going into their reserves, claiming their strength, feeling this victory. There's a new world coming to you. Yeah, new beginnings, new world, new beginnings right here. Aries energy, it feels, it feels like someone has to step forward in order to claim this victory, it's going to take a lot of strength. There is um, a momentum, a momentum of curiosity, possibilities, especially with that fire energy. They, they want to communicate. Tell me why. Oh, yeah. Manifestation. That's our two cards here. Meditate and contemplate, and you're very close to achieving your goals. That's our manifestation card. And if you worry about what's going to happen, do not. Sun card, the happiest card in the tarot deck. Tell me some more. Yeah, eight of pentacles. Someone is working hard, especially when you consider the ten of wands. You might feel like you are, you're putting in a lot of work. You want to see the results. You want to see what's going to happen. You do have options. You're not someone without options. Tell me more about this. King of Cups. Yeah, this is the embodiment, the mastery of emotions. Because you've been through it all. You know, you know what it feels like. Ace of Cups from the Divine. This is very reminiscent. A lot of memories here. A lot of memories. Tell me more. Four of Swords. Recuperation. Yeah, you've been through it and now, now you're, you've taken the time to recuperate and you're ready for new beginnings. Taking everything that you have lived through. Knight of Cups. <laughs> yeah. See, it's the, it's the experience and the passion. What a beautiful combination. Experience, passion, Ace of Pentacles from the Divine. Tell me something else. Yeah. Seven of Pentacles really making that investment and hoping that it's going to pay off. Someone here has been waiting a long time, and you, you might feel like they're playing games, but the, it's not so much they're playing games that they're very cautious. Someone here is very cautious, doesn't want to make a mistake. They have three of pentacles to the, yeah. Two cards jumping out here. <laughs> Nine of swords to eight of swords. So 
they've lived through a nightmare, but now because of that, they're nervous. They don't want to make a mistake. They're up in their head with worry. They've been through a lot. You have been through a lot. So neither of you want to make a mistake. You're holding back. Someone's really holding back. They don't want to make a mistake. This intuition of yours, though, let me tell you about this. Yeah. Things have not, not been fair, and you're going to demand fairness. How is that going to work, though? Yeah. Two of Wands. Both of you have a lot to offer. Both of you want to offer each other the world. Yeah, the Empress. She brings all good things to life. So the cards have a resounding yes. You're getting the thumbs up from the divine, from the universe. It's just that you, both of you have been through so much that it's hard to not think the other person's playing games. It's easy to worry and be up in your head. However, the Empress, strong Torian Empress, everything is going to be a new possibility, new beginnings. I know, sometimes it's hard to be confident, especially when you're this tired. Ten of Wands. Yeah, Five of Cups. Feeling like time, like there's a, a time, like someone's watching, you know. How long is this going to take for my lover to come to me? Gemini Energy. Being blessed by Archangel Raphael. So there's a significant pull. It's, it's like... Um, both of you want to be together, but there are consequences. There, there are circumstances. Nine of Wands. Both of you are courageously waiting for each other for the right timing. Is it going to happen? Ten of Pentacles. Yes, it is. Tell me more about this. It's going to feel like you're starting all over. A brand new type of love. Along with the Page of Swords a new type of the idea of love queen of cups yeah this is emotional stability <laughs> feeling like you're a little bit off balance i'll take one more here again because you're waiting you're anticipating this is worth anticipating though and you'll know how will you know because you'll get this it's like an inspiration, an idea, a brand new idea about love. You're like, how can that happen? I, I've, I've been through so much. Actually, both of you have been through so much. It, the Tower event. It's going to have to occur. It's like Shazam. Something is going to occur that moves all of the chess pieces. Knight of Swords. You know, they're going to rush in with a message. What's that message now? Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. You're my home. You've always been home. I've dreamt of you. I've thought of our home together. Dreamt of our house. Let's continue on just a little bit here. The Queen of Swords. The truth is going to set you free. Tell me about the truth. Yeah, the truth is... We're soulmates. It's that when you're together, it feels like home. When you're apart, it feels like you're missing a significant part of yourself. I'll take one more. Yeah. Nine of Cups. Both of you are each other's wish fulfillment. There's a lot here. There's a lot of emotion. There's a lot of pride. Holding back. Six of Cups. Don't forget the card that informs and frames this entire reading is Four of Cups. Someone is like, 
Should I take a chance or should I just be happy with what I have? Should I take a chance? Should I move forward? And then this happens. It's as if all of the stars align and the truth comes out and the soulmates are together. Each of you are each other's wish fulfillment. Let's take a lot of strength. So, <clears throat> a lot of intense emotion here, a lot of longing, wishes, <sighs> waiting, but you guys know, you, you know what your ultimate destiny is. Lovely. Okay, I'll let you guys go. Oh, no? Well, how about some messages then? How about some messages for Taurus? Messages. What can you help us with? Communication is sometimes a little off. Tell me again. Okay, someone has a propensity of either saying too much or nothing at all. How about moderation? Okay. Oh. What do we have? Commitment. Commitment is an important factor to achieve a successful relationship. So if someone wants those words, they need to hear those words. I am here. I'm not going to give up. Cupid's love is in the air. Absolutely. Love, commitment, openness. Be open to accept divine guidance in your relationship. We did have the Three of Pentacles come out. And with the Three of Pentacles, we have to think of someone perhaps beyond the veil is there to help you. Especially when you feel like someone's playing a game and you can have nightmares and be up in your head with emotions. Connection. Your connection is eternal and unbreakable. Trust and believe. Yep. That is as clear of some statements that I have seen lately. It's a recognition of the challenges that both of you are going through. The final outcome looks beautiful, but you're still going through it. These are not times for the faint of heart. So here you are, Taurus. Love you guys. Please take good care and I'll see you soon. Okay, bye-bye now.